broadcast Philadelphia Eagles against our old rivals, the Kansas City Chiefs, because of their head coach, Andy, Andy Reid. Reed, yep. And right now, the Eagles <laughs> are undefeated. I love it when you're only in season, you know, first week of the season. And even if your team lost, you're going, hey, I'm only one game out of first place. Yeah, that's place. the best time. You know, the reason is the best time of year because, you know, your team, everything right now is just predictions. Right. You know, that's the yep. best part. It's only predictions right now. So anything could happen. An injury could happen. Any team could take off. I love it this time of year. Everyone's a true fan. No one gets down on their team. It's Not great. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> Philadelphia's the only place if you don't win every game they get upset. This is Ben Schatzer. Uh, I have the pleasure of working with his dad for over 25 years. Man, am I getting older. <laughs> and he brings us officially licensed merchandise from G3. Now, if you saw the graphic on your screen where it talks about a hands-high hoodie by Jimmy Fallon, yes, it's the same <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Yes. That we know from late night TV. This started, in fact, last year was the first really big year for it. Correct. What is the hands held high and what is the Jimmy Fallon Basically, look? this was a brilliant idea that Jimmy Fallon had. And, and he he's a huge to, NFL yeah, fan. Huge NFL fan. He came to G3 with this. And he sat there and he's watching a game the one day. And think about what happens in sports. If something good happens, you're putting your hands Touchdown. up. If something bad happens, you're putting your hands up. Trying to miss a shot. You know, it's for baseball, basketball, football, hockey. It happens in all sports. So basically, he thought of this idea. This yeah. is unused real estate. To promote and, your team. And by the way, hold that up. Look, it, it says it underneath. That's the hands held high difference. It's now officially licensed by the NFL. Yep. And these are these are the hands held high hoodies for 2017. <laughs> and we're the only ones who have them. This is it. <laughs> Official colors of the NFL. Every single team, all 32 teams in the Apple NFL. 32. We've got them. Now, down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a stoplight. And it'll tell you your favorite team. You know who your team is. Uh, if it's green, we've got enough. We've got quantity. If it's yellow, it's on its way to selling out. If it's red, they're already gone. So let's go through all 32 you know, teams, Ben. Let's cover some it. ground. And what I did for everyone out there to help you out this week, I oh, actually yeah, put you, a, you I lined them, them all up. up. So your team, whoever they're next to, that's who they're playing, just in case you forgot. So to start it off, we have the Steelers here. They're going to be playing the Vikings today. And I don't remember, it's going to have either your city or state uh, team name underneath. Yep. City going across the uh, top. Your team name going there. Hands house pocket. High. Yep. With your primary team color in the front. Secondary underneath the sleeve, and then, like I said, it's gonna have your team sitting in state, gonna show it off with the official hands high logo, which mm -hmm. was fully approved by the NFL. That's why they came to us, G3, because we know what we're doing. G G3 is the, the leading apparel company in the NFL. It was started by a, an NFL standout, uh, multiple Super Bowl winning. Can we say who it is? Absolutely. Who? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, the owner of G3. Oh, Carl Banks. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, it's Carl I didn't Banks. Know if we yeah, could yeah. mention Carl's name. But. Yep, yep, absolutely. Okay. This is Carl Banks' company. So, you know, he, yeah, he played for the uh, New York Giants as a linebacker. He started 20 some years ago and yeah. just grown ever since. So, officially licensed. Uh, the colors are exactly right. In other words, if you're a New England Patriots fan, and by the way, they lost their opener, but that doesn't matter. The last three times that they lost their first game, they wound up going to the Super Bowl. That's very so, true, yep. So you can never count them out. Exactly. That's why it's week two. The you colors never know what can right. happen. This, by the way, down here, that's all embroidery. It adds a nice value to it. It's a, a, a open see-through pocket that goes all the way through, which is what you want on a hoodie. And hoodie sweatshirts are probably Personal opinion, the most comfortable sweatshirt. I absolutely fully agree. I okay. think anytime if you're hanging around their house, if you're going for a tailgate, yeah. you know, I mean, Just they're, throw they're it comfortable. On to wear exactly. It. Yeah. And I like that it's a little oversized, but it's not gargantuan. Exactly. And you know, the wives and girlfriends room. are always going to steal them. So, you know, yeah, exactly. guys are always going to get them and they're going the next day anyway. So, <laughs> speaking of the Giants, here we go. And as you said, it's going to be fully embroidered. Detroit. Yep, got Detroit against the uh, Giants today. We have the Redskins. Okay, I think that's going to be a good game. Absolutely, the, I think this is going to be a good game. The LA Rams, which LA I Rams. absolutely love. I love these two color schemes that go together. It's the old school colors. Yep, now here's a couple other things. We do a lot of stuff with word marking. This is different. It's just a different font. It's a different look. It's a much more relaxed design. And we're the only ones who have this. Correct. Uh, by the time these go to the general public, the football season will be over. If you're thinking about Christmas gifts for a football fan, under 50 bucks, this is the way to do it. Sure. Okay, this weekend, Chiefs Eagles playing the Kansas City the Eagles. Chiefs. Okay. All righty. So right here we have the Arizona game. Cardinals. Chiefs, yeah. Chiefs did well last week. They played real well. Alex Smith had one of the best games you're going to see, you yep. know, as an open all year. And as we're going through this, I always try to remind people that when you have the NFL license, that doesn't mean we just slap stick a color on there. I mean, if you look right here, those two different shades of red are different. I mean, there's so many different shades of reds, blues, greens, and they're actually, oranges. They're, they're trademarked. 
It becomes a part of a team. Look at how these sides are selling out. This weekend, Tampa Bay against the Bears. The Bears. And Tampa Bay uses one of the only, the pewter color. They're the yep. only team in the NFL that uses that, which is always Broncos a fun against. color. Yep. The Cowboys this week. That's going to be a fun game to watch. I agree. You know, you know, and you can see like with the Cowboys, it actually has the foil print going across the front. So if that's how your team color name is going to show up, some teams do and some teams don't. And again, it, don't forget, it's it's called hands held high, and the whole idea is that when you raise yeah. your hands, celebrate the touchdown, etc., you you your name will be on the underside of the sleeve. Yep. And for those just tuning in, yes, Jimmy Fallon of late night yep. television fame is the one who created this look. Uh, people thought it was a joke. At that it first, was kind of a goof, that it was just a spoof that he was doing for a show. Fact of the matter, no, this is really the real deal. Off. And it has caught on. Cleveland is gonna have, what do you, okay. Cleveland against Baltimore, what do you think? I got Baltimore on this one, not I got fortunately. Baltimore as well, yeah. And one of the funny There's parts long. is these next two games I'm showing, the, of all the games this week, these are the only divisional games play, being played this yeah, week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's only three divisional Jacksonville games being played. Jacksonville Jaguars. Versus and the Titans. I got to give kudos to any of the teams that are down in Florida and what they were able to do considering the weather conditions. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Jacksonville, by the way, Jacksonville has got, I mean, they are a nasty good team this year. They're going to be good, yeah. Yep. I mean, I really, you know, I love the way that they're coming out. They're fired up. You know, they got to play their games last week. Unfortunately, Tampa Bay and Miami didn't get a chance to. Right. So, you know, yeah, it's a great rebound thing, you know, after the hurricane. So. It's going to be great. And like you said, here's another perfect example, the two yep. different shades of blue that, you know, you're going to be seeing. And this, this shade of green for Seattle, I tell you what, when they first came out with this color, uh, people went, what the <laughs> heck is it? And now it's the hottest color for high school sports and just in general. So Seattle Seahawks coming up Go against the, the 49ers. 49ers. That's going to be a fun divisional game right there. It's, so we can jump back over here. Yeah. And you know, I was thinking well, about it. I think we missed these. These two, because we might have missed it. Browns and the Ravens. Uh, Baltimore, they're tough this year. Yeah, you know, and I was they're thinking be, about the other day, how watch. many different ways you could wear this sweatshirt. I mean, think about how many different times in like you're putting your hand up. Little kid in school, raising his <laughs> hand. You're willing to get a taxi. Guys in the New York Stock Exchange, putting your, that's all this unused area that you know you can sit there and promote your team. New York against the LA Raiders. That's really important. Uh, they, they, they're, uh, well, they're, yeah, Oakland. They're, Oh, now. Still, yeah, yeah, and then we're going to, to Las Vegas, <laughs> pardon me. Correct. But yeah. LA now has two teams, is what I started to say. And that's kind of cool. Did we get to the second one? Who, the Rams? Yeah, we had the Rams. Yep, we did the, the Rams oh, already. Okay. Yep. So right here, then we have the Falcons versus the uh, Packers today. Uh, Garrett, that's be Garrett Packers. Packers, I, I saying, like that Packers, too. I like sorry. that too. Yeah, unfortunately, I like that too. But we got, got to give it up to the Atlanta Falcons. Made the oh. Super Bowl last year. I agree. Made a great run. Probably one of the best Super Bowls. Probably any of us have ever seen, you know, this, well, this depending tough. on who you're a fan and, of. And I know but. you're wearing the Bills right now. But Buffalo Bills, Panthers, what do you think? I'm going to go with the Panthers this week. I, uh, I, I like them. I don't you know. know I, interesting, I think, you and I are both agreeing on everything that's, here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, well, I think one of the best color schemes that you have in football is the Miami Dolphins. Probably the you most know? easily recognizable. Exactly. So, as I said, primary okay. team color, secondary. It's all, run all through the inside. Fully embroidered logo on the side here. Put your hands up. You know, show you off your team proud. Yep. LA, right now this, I think this would be a collector's item. This is LA Chargers. San Diego has moved. LA went for years without a team. Now they've got two. Now they got two. Uh, we are the only retailer that has these. These are the Jimmy Fallon hands held high, high <laughs> NFL licensed hoodie sweatshirts. Long, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure. Ben, thank you, my ben, friend. Always, always pleasure great. as always. Football season week two coming up. Thanks, guys. Go Steelers. Just saying. All right, everybody, so we're going to go to Facebook. That's my page, Carolyn Gracie QVC. And thanks to everybody who's always stopping by there and posting cute things of pets and gardens and all that sort of stuff. Today, Dan and I would really love to see your pets in cute, funny sleeping positions. So here's my Shih Tzu Doby and my kitty cat Pearl. They kind of look like a married couple that are upset with each other, don't they? Sleeping on the opposite sides of the blanket. But at least they're in the same blanket. We also have my adopted girl, Amber who has a bed but prefers the floor. And then there's Misha, who just sleeps in those super cute kitty positions anywhere. So here's Teresa, who shared this picture of her cat, Ginger, with paws up. It's like she's wearing her own hands up right there. How cute is that? And then we also heard from Carrie Ann. This is their little fancy rat, Bolt, who loves to sleep on the Kleenex box tops. Look how cute. He's made his own little spot there of Kleenex box tops. I'm sure he's got a fluffy bed, but you know, sometimes animals just like to pick their own spot. So there's Bolt all curled up. And then we also heard from Debbie who says, 
This is her sweet little grand pup, Chloe. Oh, looks like a baby little bulldog. So cute. And then we also heard from uh, Kylie, our own Kylie Watts. She's adopted a dog from Spain named Mario. And there's Mario and Hurley. <laughs> Look how he's like squishing that doggy's face. The doggy doesn't even know it. How cute is that? This dog is rescued all the way from Spain by Kylie, which I think is great.